Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're off to another project. We're looking at a, a Core Innovations 40 inch. I have a 40 inch television screen uh, TV that I'm going to put to the um, to the wall. Here's the um, instructions for the Core Innovations model number, user's name, and all that stuff. Okay, over here we have the parts, the part numbers. We got A1, A2, and A3. They mentioned that we're not going to use all the parts, so the uh, parts that I took out of the package already are the parts that I'm going to use. Now, we have A1, we're using A1, and we're using A3, which is the um, the washers here. And we're going to use these screws here. These screws here are going, are going to go into your wall. Let me give you uh, uh, um, an idea what those, where these are going to go. But for now, I'm going to show you the parts. This is B1. This is B2. We're not going to use B3. We're going to use B1 for my 40-inch TV. We're going to use the washers, which is A3. We're going to use A1, the bolts, and the washer combined onto the bolt, which is going to go into your wall. We have uh, C1 and C2 together. That's these screws here, small screws, and these large screws here. We have uh, these B1 and B2. Uh, D1, D2, and the uh, rest of the crew here, um, we're not going to use these screws here. We don't need those. The instruction manuals and the people online mentioned that we're not going to use all the parts. Okay, the tools. The tools that I use. I keep it simple. I couldn't find my screwdriver, so this is going to be my screwdriver. I'm going to knock the wall down. I don't have time to get my um, stud finder or find my stud finder. Every time I use my stud finder, it doesn't work properly because... The reason why it doesn't work properly is because I have a vertical, I have old walls, I have an old house, I have vertical uh, wood going uh, parallel to the ceiling. So as I try to find my stud finder or my uh, my um, four by four inside the wall, the uh, vertical um, wood it gets in the way. So I use this and I, be, I, I um, knock down the wall this way. I'll demonstrate that. I'll show it to you in a second. Uh, one inch screws. You have a, uh, you have to cut your uh, drywall. To, after you put the hole in the wall, you have to cut your drywall with this here, this uh, tool here. Uh, you're going to need a marker and you're going to need uh, a drill and you're going to need here this piece here to actually use for this part here to screw into the wall which I've already done I'm going to show you right now what I've already done okay right here I drilled a hole into the wall pre-drilled to put those screws those uh, bolts into the wall now right here I didn't have time do the stud finder thing. I actually knocked a hole in the wall and found my stud and um, made a vertical line straight up and drilled a hole into the stud that way. So you can put a hole in your wall and you can repair your, the hole in the wall. And just for good measure, once you put the drywall back up there, you gotta, you gotta cut the drywall. The drywall is here. That's the drywall. And I got the uh, razor blade right next to it to the right where I cut the drywall. And I replaced it with screws, the one inch screws. I replaced it with the one inch screws here. I got one inch screws. I drilled them into the wall or the wood behind the wall. So you're looking at mud. The mud, this is the mud that I use, which I wouldn't recommend this mud. I just had some leftover mud from a previous project, but I would recommend that you get the um, all-purpose mud for your uh, wall sheetrock all-purpose mud green and white it's in a green and white um, bucket at your uh, local Home Depot or Lowe's green and white bucket and you just mud those holes back up let it dry send it down and all that good stuff and then you repaint it that's how that works so I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you guys how to mount this thing. Hopefully this video is under 10 minutes. But uh, as you can see, I have a drill. These are all of the tools you will need. This is a 10 inch millimeter socket right here. Connected to my socket wrench. 
uh, one inch screws for this here. This is a drywall. Okay, this is my hammer. I already put this to the test and I knocked out the wall and replaced it with drywall and all that good stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get started. First of all, I'm going to take the B1, the B1, and I'm going to take the A1. Uh, let's, let's, let's try that again. The B1 is already in the wall. It's already in the wall. One, one, one bolt is already in the wall holding up that black bracket and onto the wall. This is the secondary. Uh, I mean, this is the second bolt. So we'll put that together later or put it up into the wall later. But first, I want to concentrate on B1 and C1. These are C1 screws. I'm going to take the C1 screws and the B1 uh, spacers. And I'm going to connect them to the back of the flat screen TV. Give me a second. This is the bracket. This is the bracket that's going to go on the back of your 40-inch TV. It fits very well onto your 40-inch TV. Looks good. But first, you have to put the uh, spacers here. Spacers here. Spacers here. Actually, I'll put the spacer over here and do it at an angle. And then put the bracket. Oops. We're going to have to get the uh, A1. I forgot the A1. Let's get the A1 washers. A1 washers, ladies and gentlemen, or, or this is not, A3. A3 washers. We're going to take the A3 washers and come back over to the flat screen TV. A1 washers. Okay, so the spacer goes on first. Let me put these washers right here. A1 goes on first. And then you put the spacer or the uh, washer onto the screw and screw it down onto the TV. You got spacer first, then the washer goes onto the screw, you screw it down. Okay, rinse and repeat. Washer first, washer, I mean spacer first, then the washer onto the screw, and then screw down. Okay, spacer first, spacer goes underneath the bracket, underneath. Then you put the washer onto the screw, then you screw it down. Grab your trusty screwdriver, screw it out. Done. Now, I want you to concentrate on one other thing, because this video, I'm going to try, try to keep this video under 10 minutes. Now, you got a hook here, ladies and gentlemen. Once the bracket is put onto the back of the TV, there's a, this is a hook. This is a hook. Hopefully, you can see it on video. It slides onto the bracket that's on the wall already. So, I'm going to show you. Um, we're going to grab this uh, screw right here and the ratchet. 10 millimeter ratchet or, or socket. It goes onto the ratchet. And we're going to take this screw here and we're going to hand screw it into the wall until it actually grabs the, uh, st uh, the stud behind the wall. And then we're going to screw it in here.
tighter and tighter. If this bracket can't hold this TV, I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's gonna hold. My arm's getting tired. and tighten the top, ladies and gentlemen. Now, at the top here, this top screw here has a round circular hole that's inside of this, uh, this frame right here, this black frame. There's a round hole. Down here is an oval-shaped hole that you have to screw into. The oval-shaped hole is for adjustment, as you can see. So once you get the proper adjustment or the right angle for your bracket on the wall, you tighten it down to maintain straightness of your uh, bracket and your TV. Now, remember I told you guys earlier about that hook that's on the back of the bracket on the TV. Let me show you. If you can see this hook, this hook here is going to go slide on. Come back up here, ladies and gentlemen. Here. It's going to slide on here. Just hang right on here. That's what's going to hang. As you can see, I also... And not tight enough as of right now. Let me get that tighter. Tighten it on it. All right, now we're tight. Okay, so I'm going to end this video because we're done. All we got to do now is take this TV here. Hopefully, you can see it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you can see it. We're going to hang it. We're on. We're on the hook. Now I'm going to show you. We are touched down, ladies and gentlemen. We are touched down. Um, lastly, I would like to say is there's some screws that I took off the bracket. Um, oh no, I didn't. I actually put them back on there. These screws here. You have to screw these in on each side to tighten the TV down onto the bracket so it doesn't move. There's a screw over here and there's a screw on the other side. These came with the bracket. They were already on the bracket when I opened up the package. These screws right here. So you're going to have to screw these in on each side simultaneously. Not at the same time because it'll be uneven. You got to screw in a little bit over here, screw in a little bit over there so it can be even. So remember that. Okay, I'm going to end this video, ladies and gentlemen. Game over. Thank you.